It is no longer a trade war. It is an all-out economic brawl with global consequences. The U.S. and China have abandoned diplomacy, replacing handshakes with sanctions, cooperation with bans, and negotiations with retaliations. The latest move? A brutal and calculated strike from Beijing that cuts deep into the heart of the U.S. medicine industry, a move so strategic that it exposes the fragility of America's dominance in genetic research. Washington's arrogance in imposing yet another tariff increase on Chinese goods has backfired spectacularly, proving that China is no longer the obedient economic partner willing to play by America's rules. The days of quiet submission are over. China has just reminded the world that it can hit back and hard, but let's not pretend that China is some innocent victim responding to aggression. For years, Beijing has engaged in state-sponsored industrial espionage, intellectual property theft, and ruthless market manipulations, ensuring that its domestic champions grow strong enough to take on the global giants. Now, the Chinese Communist Party is using its economic might to tighten its grip over industries critical to the future, medicinology being one of them. With the ban on U.S.-made genetic sequencers, China is effectively shutting out a foreign competitor while pushing its own companies into a position of absolute dominance. Make no mistake, this isn't just retaliation. This is China's power play to monopolize the future of genetic research and data, an asset arguably more valuable than oil in the coming decades. The U.S., for all its economic and technological superiority, is proving to be disastrously short-sighted. The Biden administration, much like its predecessors, is stuck in a cycle of reactionary policies instead of forward-thinking strategies. Tariffs, sanctions, and bans have done little to slow China's ambitions. If anything, they have only fueled Beijing's resolve to become self-sufficient. Illumina, one of America's biotech gems, now faces a brutal reality, losing one of the fastest growing markets in the world to a nation that is more than happy to build its own alternatives. This was predictable. This was avoidable. Yet here we are watching American policymakers stumble into another trap of their own making, while Wall Street scrambles to assess the damage. Meanwhile, China's medicine industry is celebrating. Shares of BGI Genomics and MGI Tech are soaring, investors are pouring money into domestic firms, and Chinese scientists are hailing the move as a necessary step toward national security. The U.S. cannot continue underestimating China's capabilities. The future of medicine, data security, and even national defense is being rewritten as we speak. Genetic data is the new battleground, and this fight is far from over. Stay with us. Till the end. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. China has announced a ban on the import of genetic sequencers from the U.S. medical equipment maker Illumina. This decision was made on Tuesday, the same day that the United States imposed an additional 10% tariff on Chinese goods. The ban is part of China's response to the U.S. tariffs and is set to take effect from March 14th to 16th, 5. Genetic sequencers are machines that help scientists study DNA or RNA. These devices are essential for diagnosing rare genetic conditions, conducting research on hereditary diseases, and understanding how different genes interact. They are widely used in medical research, forensic science, and agriculture. Genetic sequencers play a vital role in the early detection of diseases like cancer and help researchers develop targeted therapies for various illnesses. The ban is expected to affect many medical research institutions and laboratories that rely on Illumina's equipment for their projects. Illumina's sales in China account for around 7% of its total revenue, making this ban significant for the company. China is one of the largest markets for genetic research due to its growing healthcare sector and advancements in medicine. medicine. Many Chinese universities, hospitals, and private companies depend on Illumina's machines for their genetic studies. The ban could slow down ongoing research projects, especially those related to cancer detection, infectious disease control, and personalized medicine. Without access to Illumina's advanced sequencing technology, researchers may need to find alternative solutions, which could lead to delays and increased costs. China's decision to ban Illumina's products follows the company's inclusion on China's 
unreliable entity list in February. This list includes companies that are seen as not cooperating with Chinese businesses or taking discriminatory measures against them. The Chinese Commerce Ministry stated that Illumina had stopped regular business transactions with Chinese companies. This action was perceived as unfair and led to the ban. The ministry claimed that Illumina's decision had a negative impact on Chinese companies and their ability to carry out research projects. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. Illumina responded by saying it would continue serving its customers in China and would follow the latest guidelines from China's Ministry of Commerce. The company is still assessing how the ban will affect its operations in the country. The inclusion of Illumina on the unreliable entity list shows how trade tensions between the U.S. and China are affecting various industries. China has been encouraging its domestic medicine companies to become more self-reliant and reduce dependence on foreign technology. China has been encouraging its domestic biotech companies to become more self-reliant and reduce dependence on foreign technology. The ban is seen as part of this broader strategy to promote local companies and protect national interests. The Chinese government has also expressed concerns about data security and the potential misuse of genetic information by foreign companies. Genetic data is highly sensitive, and the growing reliance on foreign sequencing machines could pose risks to national security. By banning Illumina's products, China aims to strengthen its own biotech industry while addressing security concerns. This move aligns with China's broader efforts to achieve technological independence in key sectors like biotechnology, artificial intelligence, and semiconductors. The ban is seen as part of this broader strategy to promote local companies and protect national interests. The Chinese government has also expressed concerns about data security and the potential misuse of genetic information by foreign companies. Genetic data is highly sensitive, and the growing reliance on foreign sequencing machines could pose risks to national security. By banning Illumina's products, China aims to strengthen its own medicine industry while addressing security concerns. This move aligns with China's broader efforts to achieve technological independence in key sectors like medicinology, artificial intelligence, and semiconductors. Following the ban, shares of Chinese genetic sequencing companies saw significant increases. BGI Genomics, a subsidiary of BGI, saw its shares rise by 8.4%. These companies are now expected to gain market share in China, filling the gap left by Illumina. The sudden rise in stock prices shows how the market views the ban as an opportunity for local companies to expand their influence. The ban could accelerate the growth of China's domestic medicine industry, giving companies like BGI and MGI a stronger foothold in the market. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. Analysts from Nomura estimated that the ban could create a business opportunity worth 750 million yuan, which is approximately $103 million, for MGI Tech in 2025. Chinese companies like BGI and MGI have been working on developing their own genetic sequencing technology to reduce reliance on foreign equipment. The ban is likely to boost demand for their products and services. However, some experts have raised concerns about whether local companies can fully match the technological capabilities of Illumina's machines in the short term. The ban is part of a broader set of measures China has implemented in response to U.S. trade policies. In February, China had already included PVH Corp., the parent company of Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger, on its unreliable entity list. The country also announced an investigation into Google as part of its wider actions against U.S. businesses. This series of measures highlights the growing tension between the two countries in the technology and trade sectors. The ban on Illumina's genetic sequencers is expected to reshape the competitive landscape of the genetic sequencing market in China. While it presents new opportunities for domestic companies, it also poses challenges for ongoing research projects and the broader scientific community. The decision reflects China's determination to protect its economic and technological interests amid rising trade tensions with the U.S. Thank you for your attention and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence 
Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.